goodness, Natalie. Oh, jeez. I'm a bride. Sure are. This has been a spectacularly wonderful day for me and my family. You, you think you know when your daughter gets married that it's going to be special, but I, I'm totally blown away. Natalie was never one to follow a boy. She never changed her plans or her ways for them. But with John, it was different. Cheers, Natalie. <laughs> Natalie would take the train several times a month back from New York City to Philly to see him. He was always on her mind, and our girl, who barely made eggs, began to cook. That's when I knew John was special and he wasn't going anywhere. In the summer, John and I would spend the weekends in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. And in the words of John, life was good. <laughs> but I will never forget the day when I was sitting on the couch and in walks my brother with confidence. Chest out like he always has. <laughs> Smile ear to ear. And right behind him is Natalie. John came in the house different than when he left. He was dazed, he was giddy, he was obnoxiously happy. He was in love. I knew she was the one. In the name of God, I, John, take you, Natalie, to be my wife. In the name of God, I, Natalie, take you, John, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. It's been so much fun to watch my best friend fall in love with a guy who makes her so happy. So Natalie and John, grow old together, stay happy together, be fruitful together, and I wish the very, very, very best for you. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip.